In this video, I will show you the easiest order to kill all the bosses in the main area of Limgrave and where to find these bosses. I will have a difficulty rating in the bottom left showing how hard I found the boss for Mage, Melee, and with Summons. The X next to Summons means you cannot summon spirits to help you with the boss, and the three question marks mean I forgot to test if you can use Summons against the boss. Anyway, I hope this helps, and let's get into it. The first boss I'd recommend fighting is the Stone Digger Troll located in the Limgrave Tunnels just north of the First Steps Grace. The reason why you want to go here first is because there are a lot of weapon upgrading materials here, which will make the other boss fights a lot easier. The enemies in this cave are resistant to melee attacks but weak to magic, and just follow my path and you will reach the boss in no time. The next boss you should go to is located in the coastal cave just west of the First Steps Grace. This cave is very simple so you should have no trouble finding the boss. Once you enter the boss room it will be filled with small weak enemies and two bosses. Do not go too far into the room or else you will trigger both bosses and they will come attack you. Instead lure out the small enemies and one boss by throwing knives or magic at them. Once you've defeated both the bosses, go to the back of the room and you'll find a tunnel. Going through the tunnel will lead you to the Church of the Dragon Communion. The third boss will be located in the Groveside Cave north of the Church of Ella. This cave is not complicated at all, but you'll be fighting quite a lot of dogs so make sure to bring a shield if you're a melee user. Now there's not too much to say about this boss, it's pretty easy, but if you're a mage you should watch out for its dash attack that it does when you're far away, and for melee users watch out for when it roars because it will unleash a flurry of attacks. The fourth boss is located in the Stormfoot Catacombs, northwest of the Church of Ella. The enemies in this cave are weak to magic, but slightly resistant to melee attacks, and these enemies can be slightly annoying. Now, this boss can be kind of weird because it just floats around, and it can be kind of hard to see when an attack is coming. Mages should have a very easy time with this boss, and melee users might have a slightly more difficult time. The fifth boss can be found in the Waypoint Ruins east across the water from the First Steps Grace. This boss will be more challenging than the others, so be careful. Once you beat this boss, you will unlock Sorcerer Selene, which you can buy new spells from, but nothing is really better than Pebble or Magic Lindblade, so no point. The sixth boss is located in the Death Touched Catacombs east along the path from Stormhill Shack. The cave is quite simple, but for the boss I would highly recommend using spirit summons for it. The reason is because the boss constantly dodges back and is really annoying to hit with melee or magic. The seventh boss is located in the Murkwater Catacombs south from the Saints Bridge Grace. The cave is very straightforward, but the boss can be quite difficult for melee users. The 
the eighth boss is located in High Road Cave underneath the Saints Bridge Grace. This cave is more complicated than the rest, but once you get past the 100,000 wolves that's there, you'll eventually reach a point that looks like this. Once you're here, just follow my path, and then you will reach the boss fight. Now, for the boss fight, the boss is pretty simple, but it has extremely large attacks that can be kind of hard to dodge sometimes. Other than that, if you hit its legs enough, you'll knock it down and you'll get a nice finisher on it. The ninth boss is located in Murkwater Cave, east of the Agheel Lake North Grace. I almost forgot about this boss, which is why it's so late in the list. It should have been sooner, but oh well. The cave system is very simple and the boss fight is very, very easy. He does say spare me at one point, but I'm not sure if you can actually spare him. I killed him way too fast to find out. Also, when you're outside of the cave, you may get invaded by Dark Spirit. And once you defeat the Dark Spirit, he gives you a very good weapon. The tenth boss is located southeast of the Warmaster Shack, where I waypointed. I killed the Rams because they made the boss fight a little harder for me and actually ended up killing me the first time I fought this boss. Other than that, the boss is quite slow and pretty easy to kill. The 11th boss is located in Summon Water Village, east from the Stormhill Shack or Saints Bridge Grace. This boss summons a lot of minions, which melee users may have to be careful of, but once you defeat the boss, he gives you the strongest ashes in all of Limgrave. These ashes don't deal a ton of damage and they aren't very fast, but they can infinitely revive themselves if not hit during the revival. These ashes are also extremely good against Margit if you're struggling with that boss. The twelfth boss is located north from the first steps grace. This boss can be quite hard to find so here's my pathing to it. The wolf summons against this boss aren't too helpful but if you use the skeleton summons that you just got from the boat boss it will make things a lot easier. The 13th boss is located southeast from the Agheel Lake North Grace. This boss can be quite annoying and hard to hit because he runs around on his horse all day. But once you finally kill his horse, you'll get an easy finisher on him. You can fight this boss on horseback as well, but I found it a lot easier just to stay on the ground and wait for him to come to you. The 14th boss is located northeast from the First Steps Grace where the clan is having a cookout. For melee users, you'll want to stay by his feet, but watch out for when he stomps. Dragon also takes a lot more damage if you attack his head, but that may be very hard to do. Summons are also very useless for this fight because he one-shots most of them. The 15th boss is located in the Everjail, south from the Agheel Lake, South Grace, or the Waypoint Ruin Cellar Grace. This boss dodges quite a bit and can be quite hard for mages or melee users to hit, so I recommend using Blide. You can find Blide in the Mistwood Ruins by using the Finger Snap emote where the wolf howls are loudest. You can get the Finger Snap emote by talking to the merchant in the Church of Ella after asking about the howls in the Mistwood. This boss also gives you a fantastic bleed melee weapon after defeating it. Mr. Bay, 
fun for you. The 16th boss is located west of the Stormhill Shack Grace. This boss can be very difficult for both classes to kill, but you can summon an NPC and spirits to easily defeat this boss. You can also make him kill himself by standing near a cliff when he does the jumping hammer slam. The 17th boss, which isn't really a boss, is located in Stormhill Castle. You can reach him by going from the liftside chamber grace or by going through the front gate past the ballistas. This boss is only hard because it dodges a lot. The 18th boss, which isn't really a boss, is located again in Stormhill Castle. Right here. Right in this room. I may or may not have already killed him, but if you go behind him you can unlock a shortcut. The 19th, not really a boss boss, is located off a cliff from the Rampart Tower Grace. Just follow my path and you will reach him. Now there are two things you can do with this boss. One is fight him like a man, and two is baiting him into a hole. To bait him into the hole, just stand on the other side of the hole and use a throwing knife or a spell, and then he will do his lunging attack and fall straight into the hole. The 20th boss is located at the end of Stormvale Castle. There is an NPC that you can summon for this boss, but I don't recommend it as she dies very quickly. Spirit summons also die very quickly, but luckily one of my reviving skeleton men lasted the whole fight. To make this fight easier for Major Melee, for Mage I'd recommend getting the Meteor Staff, and for Melee, some good bleed weapons can be found on boss 9 and boss 15. The 21st boss can be found at the Warmaster's Shack east of the Stormhill Shack. To summon this boss, I believe you have to exhaust all of the NPC's dialogue and buy a Nash of War. After that, reset the area by resting at the set of Grace, and go back to where he was standing and the boss should appear. This boss should have been way lower on the list, but I completely forgot it existed. The final boss in this area of Limgrave can be found in the Everjail, south of the Storkle Shack Grace. There are no NPCs or spirits that you can summon for this fight, so you're gonna have to do this solo. When I first fought Godric on my main account, it didn't take me nearly as many tries to beat him than it did with this guy. I also didn't use any summons for the first time I fought Godric. This knight is just very tanky, he doesn't take bleed damage, he blocks all magic shots, and you can only punish him with one hit at a time, and sometimes two. But in a second phase, he can do a very quick tail sweep if you try to punish him, and that can be quite annoying. So, in the end, to finally beat this boss, I turned almost all of my flasks into mana flasks and just camped him out the whole time like a pro mage.
I'll be making more videos similar to this one for the rest of the bosses across the map. For the next one, it will be the area south of Limgrave across the bridge. But please tell me if I missed any bosses, I will include them in the next video. And anyway, I hope you enjoy your Elden Ring time. Goodbye. Good work. I've won! I'm so good at the game. Dude, mage is garbage. Ooh, I really sweat for that one. Can I have a pirate? I'm looking for my life, high on the seven seas.